Hi everybody, my name is Amy and I'm a former Jehovah's Witness. I've been out of the religion for about 16 years, um, but, well 17 years, but really for the first 16 I was physically out but mentally in. I still believed in all the doctrines and I still believed it was the only true religion. Um, but I've been out of the doctrination for the last year and a half now and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, undoing all the mental brainwashing that I was raised in. Um, I got baptized when I was 16 years old and which is apparently late. Um, because I think now they have started baptizing at 8, 9, 10 years old, and they've been pushing that, so that's ridiculous. But um, I just wanted to introduce myself to the XJW community. Hey! And i um, planning on making more videos, but I just thought I'd make this brief video uh, just to kind of introduce myself, like I said, and... Um, let you guys know that I'm here. Um, I now am a real true Christian. Uh, I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior April of 2017. Uh, here we are December of 2018 and my life has completely changed for the better. For the better. Um, I was disfellowshipped when I was about 21 or 22 and stopped going to meetings and I was you know in limbo for really 16 years uh, my husband is a Christian and I met him when I was out in the world and I tried to go to meetings here and there throughout the years um, and my husband and I used to get in these really bad debates <laughs> they would turn into arguments um, because I just didn't understand how he thought he knew the Bible better than I did because, let's face it, as a Jehovah's Witness, we're taught that we have this, you know, um, extended, deep knowledge of the Bible and of Jehovah that nobody else has, no other religion has, you know. So we were really kind of, at least I was, speak for myself, I was a Bible snob. You know, I always looked down on other people that had different beliefs um, I always thought that they were below me because I had this superior knowledge of, of the Bible. You know, I know the truth and, and you know, you, you can't be on my level unless, you know, you have a Bible study with, with me, you know. But growing up, I never enjoyed field service. I never enjoyed going out to preach. Um, I was the one that was always with, you know, other groups. I never really had a lot of return visits, uh, but I was more than happy to be somebody's partner as long as I didn't have to take the lead at the door. You know, it, it was a struggle for me to take the lead at the door and do my presentation. But if anybody, you know, I could get through my rehearsed presentation, but if anybody, you know, was, showed interest and asked questions at the door, my partner would, you know, usually have to help me. Um, so I guess I was always, you know, one of those witnesses that never really had Bible studies, never really had many RVs. So, you know, when it would be raining or it was too cold, uh, you know, everybody in the car group would do RVs, which is return visits. And for those of you that don't know, a return visit is someone that you have previously talked to at the door and they showed interest. So, you know, you write their name and any information that you found out about them, you know, while you were there. And you return at another time to see if you, they had any questions about the magazines that you left them, you know, or whatever you placed with them, a track or whatever. And you write down, you know, what their questions were. If they had a dog and you found out their dog's name, oh, let me write down the dog's name. So when I go back to their door, they'll be impressed that I remembered the dog's name. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so, um, you know, in the car group, I was always the one that didn't really have a lot of RVs. 
which was, you know, frowned upon. Um, with my group of friends, um, I always felt like I was the, the spiritually weak one that the others, you know, their moms made them hang out with me and be my, you know, um, pioneer partner because I needed help, you know, um, so I never really felt like I belonged anywhere, even when, you know, my mom went, you know, we moved and we went to a new congregation. It was really a wonderful congregation. I mean, the, the friends there were great. Just my age, I just never really felt like I fit in. So to make a long story short, um, when my husband and I would get in these debates, um, I would be really upset with him and I would pray to Jehovah and I would wish, you know, that, you know, I feel terrible saying this now, but my feelings at the time was, you know, I should have married in the truth. You know, if I married in the truth, I married a brother, then I wouldn't be dealing with these problems now. You know, why, why doesn't he understand, you know, that I have the truth? Why doesn't he listen to me? Um, but now I feel that, God really knew exactly what he was doing putting us together because we've been together for 15 years and we've been married for 10 and um, he has really helped me understand the scriptures without the propaganda from the Watchtower Society. So I just wanted to Again, I know I keep saying this, this is my first video, so please bear with me. I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that I plan on making more videos about specific doct doctrines that I've, you know, been able to um, overcome and unlearn, because that's really what you have to do as an XJW or anyone that has been in a cult has that has been fully indoctrinated. You really have to unlearn all the doctrines and behaviors that you learned while you were in the cult. So that has been, you know, um, it's been a struggle with some doctrines and easier with others, you know, but with prayer and uh, studying the Bible, um, I've been able to find my own beliefs. So I plan on sharing some of those with you guys. So um, hopefully like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think, you know, what's your story. Thanks. Have a great day.